I would guess that you're looking for social media content distribution videos, or at least how to do that. Um, so in this video, I hope I can explain how to set up a system, an automated system that distributes content on social media in less than 10 minutes. Let's hope so. So what we're going to do is we're going to use make.com and we're going to use Airtable in this instance. It doesn't really need to be Airtable. I just use Airtable. Uh, let's get the basics down. We need some kind of content, be it a blog post or a YouTube video or whatever uh, content you have living on the internet. And you want to share this to all the different social media platforms uh, being it Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Medium, Twitter, um, TikTok, whatever floats your boat. Um, in order to do this, we will need to first set up a system that grabs the existing content, converts that into a text or readable format for the automation to read, and then it um, digest and processes this content into platform specific outputs. So you don't want to be putting the same captions on Pinterest that you do for Facebook. And you don't want to put Facebook captions on posts on LinkedIn, for example. But how to do this? This is exactly how we did it uh, at Scale by Tech. So the automation looks something like this. Um, I'll explain the first part. This is about getting the information. And the last part is about processing and posting the information. Um, <clears throat> so in this instant, I have tied my blog post uh, or my blog uh, to Airtable. So every time I create a new blog and it's uploaded, it gets added to this uh, uh, table here. And we can see that it gets the status of uh, article added. Once the article is added, I have an automation that uh, every day searches through these records, picks out one of them. And then if the um, oh yeah, I have to set the status to 11 dash blog syndication, because whenever I create a blog post, I need to check that everything is okay. Um, be just because it's added to my blog doesn't mean it is public yet. So I need to review the content put up there and then publish the content and then move this over to blog syndication. Then <clears throat> inside the automation, we scan every single day. I think, uh, come on. Yeah. So we scan for 11 blog syndication and we only return one. So we don't spam uh, the social media networks with 50 posts if I added that in one day. That's okay for blogs, not okay for social media posting. We then do a little scan here and say, is, uh, are we actually getting something from the, uh, the scrape <clears throat> before letting it run? We then get the ID um, of this. Mm, yeah, this is uh, just getting all the information. We update this. This is internal usage. Um, because I have this system where I set the state to in progress and add a date format just to know when things happening and what's what is uh, the automation doing. We then grab the blog post from WordPress, we convert the HTML, which because when you grab a WordPress uh, post or anything from WordPress, it gets uh, you get it back in HTML, we want to convert that into markdown. We then convert that to Markdown. And the reason why is it's actually not because um, the AI will understand HTML and filter out all that, but it reduces the uh, characters and thereby reducing the token usage. So it's a good practice to convert HTML into plain text or Markdown um, because it will reduce the character numbers. <clears throat> what we then do is we create an alt image or an alt text for the image uh, because we pull down the image as well. We actually have the image lying. The hero image is um, inside of our air table. It's created 
when um, when we do the blog post we create an an alt text for that image now we have like we have all the we have the blog post and we have the image and we have the alt text for the image if uh, we need to use that i think medium needs the alt text and maybe facebook as well um doesn't really matter we generate it here then how to make this one because you could have one automation running posting on facebook then looping onto the next automation doing all this posting on instagram next one and so forth but that is um, tiresome and i think this setup is better just because you put everything in one um of course the complexity rises and you can um get in some trouble if one of these fail the rest won't work and yeah but um it's been working for us uh, very very nicely and how to set this up is you need to add a repeater a repeater will just run from the repeater point and then run how many times you then set the repeats so if we have six social media outlets six channels we set the number to six easy enough then we add a router then we add six paths or six routes you can see this is the first one second one third one and you need to click on these routes and then I just label it with the number. We set the condition to the repeater i. This number increases by one, starts by one, and then increases by one for every time it repeats. And then I said, just say text operator operation equals to one, and you probably guessed it. This one equals to two, and so forth until the last one, which is six. And that is how you can repeat. Uh, or add uh, multiple channels to this system. A quick hack, I think if you right click here, you can actually disable route without disconnecting it. This is just nice to know. So you can, and then there's this little stop sign. So if, for example, that you have trouble with Pinterest or um, you don't want to post to LinkedIn, uh, this next couple of times you can just disable the route and it will skip this one so you don't have to disconnect and reconnect and do all that you can just disable routes on a router system very handy now comes the um, special kind of magic which is you add an open ai node and generate a custom um, caption for each and every media outlet or social media channel that you are posting on pinterest um i can't remember why i didn't i think we just do the um, meta description for this one in medium we actually just copy and paste <clears throat> from our blog post um so yeah twitter really uh, important that we the your total output including url because we add the uh, url in there is never above never more than 250 characters so we stay within those limits twitter and then the rest is pretty self-explanatory it just runs so let's try and see how this works i'll just um, unlink all these and then do a test run because i don't want to repost and this one instead of unlinking i'll just disable this route and unlink here the last update record ensures that um, it gets updated here well so let's do a run run once that's fine we should now pick up that record now go ahead and update we can now see oops in progress Whoop. we go up alt text generate captions for facebook get a file that is for when posting to facebook you need to download the file first when posting to instagram you just need to provide a URL. I don't know why they these are different. It's the same like Facebook owns Instagram. Doesn't make any sense. But anyway, LinkedIn three. Ah, it's funny. This is number three. This is fourth, but did it anyway. Then it should skip this one and go to Twitter. And there we go. And this is how a social media content content distribution system works. I can see I just went over 10 minutes. Maybe if I edit out some of these silences, we will uh, 
will get under 10 minutes. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, hit the thumbs up because it helps the channel. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next automation video. Have an awesome day. Bye.